Okay, it's late. I'm tired. Uh, been working on CV axle on this thing. And uh, <laughs> what a mess. I uh, The Canon T6i uh, can only record for 12 minutes at a chunk. And so I... Um, decided to go a different route so that I wasn't having to constantly get up and redo the camera covered in uh, all the debris from working on this job. And uh, I dug out an Everio, a JVC Everio GZ-MS110BU camcorder. And uh, I used the camcorder last year uh, to video some things and I've always just taken the SD card and hooked it right to the computer and been able to get the video off of it. And so, you know, I had changed away from the Canon, uh, started using the JVC and uh, got ready to offload the video onto the computer and made sure the video playback worked on the camcorder before I took the SD card out and it did put the SD card in the computer and uh, it, the in computer management the drive would show up but uh, it would not assign a drive letter could not access it um, it just would not mount the SD card. And I was just ready to pull my hair out and uh, I put the SD card back in the camcorder. It played back fine. I tried using the USB cable for the camcorder and it would show up in devices, but it would not mount. And I just used it last year. Uh, it's been sitting in a drawer, battery completely dead. Um, and when I first turned it on, the camcorder had asked, uh, oh, you need to format the SD card. So, you know, I let it. So then I get a wild idea. I have an old laptop with Linux on it. I rarely, rarely use it. And I fired it up. It mounted the SD card right away. So then uh, I had the data on the Linux machine, but the Linux machine didn't have enough storage on the drive itself to offload the files from the SD card to that um, to that Linux machine. Uh, so remote control software uh, only sees the root drive, not the external devices on that particular flavor of Linux that's on that machine. So um, I have a little home server here. Uh, and so after some head scratching, got um, the files from the SD card uploaded to the the home server here and the videos play just fine. <sighs> so I ended up because the no matter what I did through computer management in Windows 11, um, it would not reformat the SD card as um, FAT32. So uh, I dug out a copy of Rufus, ran that to create a non-bootable drive to forcibly rewrite the SD card back to FAT32. And then Windows could mount the card. And um, so then I took and stuck the reformatted to FAT32 SD card back into the camcorder and it did not ask for a format and I recorded some video it recorded just fine 
was able to take the SD card right out of the camcorder, put it in Windows 11, Windows 11 mounted it. Video works great. So apparently, somehow, the JVC Evrio camcorder plays in a Windows format unless things go hammer dead. And then when the camcorder comes on uh, and asks to format the card, it decides to be a Linux machine and formats the SD card to Linux. Weird. Very weird. Uh, you know, locally, I've dealt with things similar to this. I say luckily. I've fallen down the rabbit hole of getting things odd situations to work um this one might infuriate you that sometime back i think it was between 7 and 10 on windows um they told you oh well your scanners are so old they're not going to work anymore and scanners quit working you know we all had the desktop scanners uh the cano scans and uh epsons and Plenty of just tabletop scanners. Uh, you know, those used to be a common thing, and they just all quit working. And they said, oh, well, it's a driver incompatibility and this, that, and it just will not work on Windows. Uh, you got to go buy a new machine, a, a new scanner of some sort. So, in digging through that, uh, it's not that the machines don't work any longer. It's that Microsoft decided they weren't going to pursue the driver or whatever any longer. And they just gave up and said, nope, can't do that. Well, there's a piece of software, uh, ViewScan. Uh, shout out to those folks. It's a Windows software that lets you operate any of your older um, scanners like you used to all the settings all the fine controls and it was because of a microsoft microsoft got together with canon and some others and you know decided that they were just going to obsolesce a bunch of stuff and uh yeah it was done in software the machines were just fine so you know is this uh to do with that I don't know. Uh, JVC support site is not kept up with you know the different flavors of Windows. Uh, not able to find a firmware update for the camcorder, uh, or and I think I could find the software for Windows 10 for certain camcorders, but the one that I've got is. I don't know, like a bottom of the barrel uh, model. So it's, you know, everything says not supported. But uh, after using Rufus to forcibly correct the SD card back to FAT32, now the camera thinks it's Windows uh, again. Weird. So, you know, maybe this information's been helpful to you. You know. Some people may not care. They've got, you know, dig an old camcorder out and, oh, well, you know, big deal, throw it in landfill. Well, I knew good and well I used it last year. It worked great. Um, it doesn't have the record limitations of uh, the Canon T6i. Um, and when you hit record, you don't have to babysit it like you do with your phone. I've uh, worked on some projects Decided I was going to use this super duper Samsung phone to record my video content. Well, it on the tripod out of doors, um, the phone decided to overheat because full sun was hitting the screen and just acted like a big collector and it decided to get hot and stop recording. Some of the older technology, they just had it right. It just works, you know, trying to throw everything you've got into uh using your phone it's not always all it's cracked up to be so 
anyway, hope this information is helpful to somebody.